up everybody. Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna be doing a quick tips for Cinema 4D today. I'm going to show you how to link animation in between viewport and timeline. So let's get started. Here I got a scene where I have a lot of objects and each of this object got their own animation. Let's go to our timeline to tweak some animation for our selected object. We'll come up to the window menu and select timeline. Here you can see all our objects with animation keyframe. By default setting, if you select your object from your viewport and you want to see the animation graph in your timeline, it's not interactive to show you the selected object animation. If I select object that I want in the timeline or viewport, I really don't know which object is selected. There are hundreds of objects out there. It's become so painful for you to identify the selected item for you to see the animation. Here's some trick I would like to share with you on how to link animation timeline and viewport. First, we'll come up to the Timeline menu and click View. Then, under Link menu, select Link TL slash Ohm Selection. Now if you select Object in Viewer, it automatically show in your timeline. Perfect! Right now it become more interactive and easy for you to trace your selected object or animation although there are hundreds of objects out there. But in other way, if you select object in timeline, it doesn't show in your viewport for selected object. To solve this problem you need to come up to the view menu again. And then under link menu, uncheck one directional selection linking. Then you ready to go. Now the link works both ways. If you select in timeline it automatically show in viewer, and if you select you object in viewer it automatically show in you timeline. Awesome! Now your workflow will be faster after this. It's so easy to track your animation and objects either from timeline, or from your viewport. Alright everyone thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned some cool techniques, and as always be sure to check out other tutorials in my channel. Like always, hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get latest update from me. And we will see you next time.